Here on Rotor Riot, you're used to seeing us fly the highest performance quadcopters that are available today. But today, we're doing something different. We're flying caveman quads. These are the quads we all started with. The old, oh, hey what guys, is this? I, I brought my quad for the shoot today. What, what, what? We're flying old quads, you punk. This is an old KK2 flight controller that has a built-in screen and built-in buttons. You don't plug it into a laptop, which sounds cool, but it's... Okay, it's kind of cool. You can set everything up in the field just with the little Tweely buttons, but it's also kind of super lame because like you have to use the Tweely buttons for everything. This is the first time in my life I've been glad to have motor stop <laughs> enabled because I can just like, ah, put it down. I don't have to flip the switch. Oh see? That's what I'm talking about. Let me see. That's what I'm talking about. Where did you come in on? What was your first like quad flight controller? Uh, it was the KK2 board. You flew KK2s no. before. No. That's so funny. How, how can you try, have been doing this that long? Try, well, I've been flying RC since I was 10. I started with flight test. Literally watched the first F4F Wildcat episode. Me too. And then I flew the Batbones tricopter. Most people don't realize this. I, I was in it for a while. You've I just been was doing, never prevalent. You started with the flight test tricopter. I started with the flight test Electro Hub on multi -Wing. Electro Hub was You came into the hobby before me. Yeah, I remember when I was getting into the hobby in 20 summer of 2014, I was reading about the KK2 boards and I was like, oh cool, it's got an LCD. But then I found all these other posts about like, no, just get an A32, it's so much better. And it was like, that was like right on the cusp of when the KK2 was fading out and people were jumping in the A32, so I got lucky. Oh, that's, so you I, came in at a really interesting time. Even though I started on mini quad, like I started on 250 size quadcopters essentially, I always thought we would eventually like go bigger, like there, there was this end screen that Windestall used to use on his YouTube channel and it's him sitting at the top of a hill and there's this sunset and he's holding the tricopter over his shoulder. I'm like, oh, that guy is so badass. I wanna, I wanna be holding my big, my big drone and we just, nope, this is uh, we still fly these little Well, we have X-Class now, to be fair. Yeah, but you, why? You know, like, this is going to get better video than X-Class. Like, for what I want to do, yeah. there's no reason to fly a big drone. I got to tell you guys, these are bringing back so many feels for me. The this wood. literally was my first quadcopter. Electro Not a KK-2, but this frame. And just, just look at, like, how it's constructed. And you can, like, see all the parts and how they go together. This I have is my the one Xiaomi that, This is not period correct. Well. <laughs> that we have, that we have th a 3D printed GoPro Hero 7 mount. That's uh, a... Yeah. Fox Zero Lollipop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, talked wow. about using, because you actually have some of the, like, OG big immersion video transmitters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But those, like, those were finicky. Older video transmitters were finicky. And I was like, we don't want to waste the episode just being like, we can't get on the right channel. So we put up, we went with the modern video transmitter. This was Chad Capper's yeah. design, the, the, little, the, the knuckle quad. The original quad. mini quad. The yeah. original, where he was talking about like, why not take a quadcopter and scale it down? And they were kind of like, eh. Right. But now it's yeah. like, fast like, forward. This, this is the slow, this was the small one back then. So I think the four of you guys should each get a quad and you guys should maybe like try and hit the course with it. Well, Alex already got like the gates. Yeah, try and thing. run the course. Wait, 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 wait. With the, with no, no, the, no, I want the V-tail. I think we should put all four quads oh, up. because like. Because when, when these quads were prevalent, it was so, the hobby was so much smaller than it is today. And so it was way less common to fly with people. Like when you were flying this type of quad, Sean, did you ever fly with a buddy? No. No, so like you never see, like you never got to like fly in formation with okay. these big quads. So Let's I think we it. should get all four Let's of you guys up. Let's, Let's just do a formation flight, one. like a simpler formation without gates. Okay. And then we'll have the center we can whoop. Just, we'll we can have just the center chase it. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, so just just set up a NASCAR and I'll chase. I'll do we'll just follow flight. the leader. I'm flying the Anycopter and it's got the old, I think they're Simon K ESCs. These are all just stock firmware with the KK2 board. But it's a KK2.1, so it flies better than one Bar Barwell was flying. No, it's flying a lot. Yeah, it's flying a lot. Oh my god. I have a saying if you look good, you're going to fly good, and this thing looks the best, so. We'll see. You don't think that the, the V-tail is going to give you any performance advantage? No. <laughs> this has a Nase 32 on it. Yeah, you so get a Nase 32? Oh, okay. So oh, you got it. You got the lucky flight. quad. Yeah. <laughs> this is clean flight. <laughs> I was just going for the QX7. Cat one armed. I'm one armed. armed. All right. Taking. Here we go. Oh my right, god. Oh my god, god my rates are crazy. Oh my god. Everyone see me? No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. We're going forward. We're going. Alright, come on everybody. Alright, this pace. It's so shaky.
fail safe. Right on you, Barbara. As I pick up speed, it's all oh, over shot. the place. <laughs> there, oh, this is so cool. This is awesome. I wonder what a I'm full flying. throttle punch looks like. Oh, a full <laughs> throttle punch right. looks like the quad tumbles and falls out of the air. I went full throttle and the quad went, nah. <laughs> Do I have to dive it, dive it? Oh, yeah. I did, I dove it. You got this. Yeah! Oh! oh. <laughs> it's a bit sketchy. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do a power loop oh, over man. the trees. Oh man, go for it, go for it, go, go, go. Hold it, and now off it. Uh-oh, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> oh, that thing, flies, that thing flies better than I would've thought. <laughs> I had no FPV friends, so like I literally flew solo every time yeah. I flew, and it sucked. It is so much more fun flying with friends. What's the damage? Got a broken arm. What we do today is we build quads out of carbon fiber. They're small quads and we build them to crash the crap out of them and they don't break. Back in the day we assumed that they would break anytime you crash them and the goal was to make them as repairable as possible. So these are like three quarter inch poplar wood booms that you can buy at the hardware store and this was a brilliant freaking idea that you could just put a new arm on. But look how much work. You have to take all the zip ties and all the motors off. It was legit a step in the right direction, but it's so different from how we think about quads now. I wasn't even going that fast. Oh, this one's gonna be more of a hassle to fix. It really doesn't take that much longer to fix an arm on one of these quads as it does on a regular quad, um, if you have the right tools. You mean like a power drill? Yeah, like a drill. And wood dowels? Yeah, well I brought those. I and, had them already pre-cut to the right length. And bullet connectors. When you, when you go to the field with your regular quad, do you not bring a specialized carbon fiber arm replacement to replace a broken arm? Uh, no, because the Skyliner arm never break, you know what I'm saying? Does it hurt to see your babies just wrecked like this? You spent so much time building all these. This one, a little bit. This was the first quad that I ever flew FPV on. This is the so quad. So you actually have like some sentimental value to this yeah, one. Yeah, this one here. That the one that just... Barwell broke. Wow. I did, all I did was throttle it up. I was like, let's see what a full throttle punch out looks like on this quad. I'm sorry that I raised the throttle. <laughs> <laughs> so Sean built all these quads. I went over to his shop to see what, what had to go into one of these and it's an alarming amount of work. You really take for granted how quickly you can put together like a really modern quadcopter that can outperform a lot of these. So these are really built with a lot of love and care and creativity. I built so many of these back in the day that I had tons of parts laying around. I've always been a little bit crazy about buying stuff and I always buy way too much of everything so that I have spare parts because I don't want to be down. One of the things that drove me crazy was that if my quad crashed I would be down for the day and I couldn't fly anymore. And I hated that, so I always have eight of everything. One is none and eight is Sean. Yep. Oh! This thing flies great. Yeah, sorry. Go up high, half front flip. Oh yeah, Rubik's Cube. <laughs> oh, this is fun. So we, we came here to the race course with the intent of racing these things, but then I started thinking, what if, what if we played a game of quad, but instead of actually spelling out anything, it's when you crash and your quad can't fly anymore, that's how you lose. But if you crash and your quad can still fly, then you're good. So you have to match tricks, but if you, yeah. Oh, I'm bad. Because this will actually be a, uh, it's not like you're gonna mess it up and still pull out. If you mess up, you're probably gonna go down and break some wooden arms. All right. Let's do it. So just in case you're a little newer here and you haven't heard of Game of Quad, it's kind of like horse for doing tricks with the drones. So one pilot will set a trick, like do a power loop around something, and the competitors have to match that trick. If they're not able to match it, they get a letter. First one to spell quad loses. I don't know that we're gonna be able to do a spelling because there's uh, not a lot of margin for error with these things. So it's spell it or crash it out, you lose. What's horse? Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. There's two scissors, so I say paper's out. So you're last. Okay, right, you that makes sense. Again. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> Just go again. <laughs> there were more scissors. Go again. The paper Alex took too long, he's out. No, no, you no, two no, go no. again. Rock, scissors, scissors, shoot. All right, so first, second, Karate third, sets fourth. It. Okay. Let's go. If you have seen Game of Quad before, you're where most Game of Quads take forever, because everyone's super lenient with the rules. Like, oh, can I get a second try? Can I try again? Mm -mm. Judge Drew, don't give up. Let's go. 
I'm gonna do like a, a, a half flip roll through the gap in the trees. I can't, I can't see anything. Hey, you're good. Oh, no, there's a tree. <gasps> uh, was that it? That was, that, that was it. That was a, like a look back half roll. I'm rolling. Okay, this is the smoothest. This is like flying real steady. Half back flip, half. You did it. Oh. He stopped, he stopped. Oh god. Oh, oh no. god. Oh, Sean. <laughs> Sean. Is the quad broken? We don't, don't know. If he can, if he can flip it, it over and take back off, I think it's. Can he get have turtle mode? Does, wait, wait. So did he? Did he accomplish the trick? No. Vote? No, he's yes. on the ground. It, he did. He's trick. on the ground. I feel like he finished the trick and no, then crashed. No, you have to. You have to, you have to come back. Spoken. He's on the ground. Okay. If he can't do a hover right now, then he's it's an elimination. I think that's props are okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're fine. It was this and a broken props prop. Props are okay. Yeah. As long as the quad itself is. I, it's like if you break the wooden arm, you know. No. It's fine. No, it's Part's fine. fine. All right. Cool. Oh, little shutter there. Little shutter. No oh, no practicing. Yeah, no practicing. I didn't do the That's trick. That's a warning. That was the trick. <laughs> I did it. I did the half backflip, half roll. All right, bring it in. Fire while you're up. I have to be at 25% throttle before some of the motors begin to spin. And then if I raise the throttle too quickly, it falls out of the air and breaks. So, thanks, Sean, for fixing this. I appreciate that he fixed it, but it was all for nothing because <laughs> it's, a, it's just going to break instantly again. Yeah, we oh, all right, all right. Here we go, Barbell. <laughs> come on, come on. No way. Oh, God. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Did you see that? It, yeah, Did you it see like, the roll rate? Because you dropped the throttle and it No, went. the roll rate just, it, went, it did a double spin. <laughs> In the time it took me to just go boom, it did a double I spin. It. I lowered it. it was oh my god. Than. So let's see if it broke. Uh, yeah, fortunately it landed straight upside down. Maybe it'll be okay. Can you hover it? Hey, oh, good. Hey. You stumped bonkers. half the guys. How does that feel? I'm impressed with myself. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I did a freestyle trick and I gave Joshua a letter. <laughs> <laughs> so Sean's gonna set the next trick. What are you gonna what are you gonna do, man? I really wanna try to do an inverted yaw spin. Oh, no. Do it. At least one spin. At least one. One three sixty. Like really high. Oh my god. Oh no. This is... Oh no. Oh god. No, it, that, that's a fail. <laughs> All right, it ain't happening. That's a that's a letter. There's no way. There's just no way. No, it won't even won't even try. So that's a letter. Oh. It just won't do it. So this is how fast it yaws. Oh, All right, wow. so it does it. Okay, as long as I'm not upside down. I wonder if it has something to do with the gyro. Okay, just go really high and be upside down at full throttle. There it is. There it is. Did it. He did it. He did it. Oh, he did it. I'm turn. counting it. I've that spoken. That was a I have half spoken. Turn. I've spoken. Okay, but that was a half turn. That's that it's was not that hard. Impressive, honestly. All right, would you not count that bar? Well, come on. All right, so that we have to do sick. a half should... inverted yaw turn. Just go up and do a 180. Okay. I want to see you guys try this. So okay, there you go with the last video. Oh, oh my boy. god. Oh that my was god. it. That was a, that was a 180. What are you talking about? That was a fall over. Just, there was no, a tumble. There was no yaw spin. One more try. There was no yaw. Wait, one more try. You got like. Oh, there you go. That was it. 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 Well done. Why are you at a disadvantage now? Well, I have the worst flying quad to start with. <laughs> and, and when you're upside down, you have to lower the throttle as much as possible. Otherwise, you pull yourself down toward the ground. Uh -huh. Also, when you yaw, the motors speed up, which pulls you down towards the ground. Uh -huh. Also, to climb, you need to raise the throttle, and when I raise the throttle, my quad falls out of the sky. So, normally what you do with a yaw spin is you would full throttle, climb, flip over, full yaw. I can't do any of those things. Commit. <laughs> I can't do any of those things. Just commit. <laughs> this is garbage. Got it. I'm going to take it out here. It's it's wobbling a lot. I'm gonna raise the throttle oh, and no. climb gently to a height. Oh, oh my god, here we go. Oh my god. It didn't yaw. Oh no! Oh. Save it, save it! Oh. Save it. <laughs> it didn't yaw at all. It was completely out of control. Try this is, this is terrifying. Oh, I know, I know. Sean, are you sure you're okay with this? Higher, higher, higher. higher. I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this. Here. That was he that was it. actually pretty clean. It that was, was clean. Really good. I'm just pissed that all you guys have like clean FPV things. <laughs> oh shut up. That's BS. Your your quad you flies good. Things. I can't see though. You have a nase, okay? You, That's true. You have, you have a nase. That's true. Okay. Okay. Look at him climbing oh, that out. That was a lot of power. Yes. 
Oh, 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 man, I thought you were going to wow. eat it. So that means against Sean all expectations, it. Sean just got his second letter. I got to set the trick now. I need to think about this. I want to do something that's going to make them just all get eliminated right now. So I think I'm going to power loop this gate in between the trees. But like, you know, without within the trees, within the trees. I know what it is, too. Oh, it's through the gate. Oh. Oh my oh. gosh, under the tree. That's it, that's it, that's, that's it. it. That was harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> this is officially where, where I'm out. <laughs> Let me go first. Oh. Can I practice? Can I, no. No. Can I practice a no, power No, I didn't practice, I didn't practice. I don't know what my rates are. <laughs> oh, Bible, you got this. Go faster. Take it easy now. Take it easy now. Oh, ah! it. <laughs> it's done. It's done. It just fell out of the sky. It's, it's, the it's, minute it's, I raised the <laughs> throttle, it just rolled out and fell out of the sky. It's done. My strategy worked, but I'm sorry. What's man. broken? The arm is broken. The arm's broken. Is that a, it's a different arm? <sighs> that camera is a big disadvantage. But his quad flies well. His quad can do this. It's just whether he can see. <laughs> the, oh, man. oh my oh, god, man, this is an <laughs> One of those gates, hit one of those gates. Oh, no way. No. He's up, he's just gotta get through it. Gotta get he made through. it, he made it. Oh, what? Oh, my god. What? That was, oh my god. You have the best image, which I should give you an advantage flying. Bad camera. All right, here we go. Yes! Oh, just get make it through, just make it through. Get through it. There you go, oh, that's oh, it. That's it. Whoa! Nicely done, Sean. Yeah. An interjection to make in this episode. Back when KK2s were a thing, was anyone doing through the gate power loops underneath no. the trees? No. Why not? They could have. That, that, I know, I've know. i wondered that, because I've went and I've, I've gotten chances to fly, not this old, but older stuff, and the things that are capable. Like, wh what is it? I mean, there's a reason. It's because, it's because as a culture, we develop this collective knowledge of what we can do and what we want to try to do. It's not necessarily the equipment that was holding us back, it was our minds. Power loop the dive gate, but go through it. Maybe with a roll before I go through it. It's broken. Yes. If you had pulled that off, I don't know what I would have done. Uh, so you, you, you I'm very thankful you you crashed. You gotta try. But you try. <laughs> you went all in. So do we have to do his trick or do yeah. we have to set no, a new trick? No, we you have set to do a new trick. No, you have to. It moves on to he sets. I know. Yeah, I'm you, no, <laughs> get him out. Take your radio. So I'm my strategy is I'm gonna do an easy trick that I know you can probably beat me at because I get a letter, but then I'll just do whatever trick you. Do. So we're gonna go up this dive and then you gotta go. Down the, other down, down the other dive. Like in one power loop? No. no. Just, just like this. You just got to get down. He's intentionally setting an easy trick okay. so that he doesn't crash out. And then he's just going to give like Sean that. a letter. That's some high level game of quad. There you go. Nice. Shut up, Vanover. <laughs> this, is some, this is some lame strategy. <laughs> there we go. Right. I take the letter. This is it. This is where Sean wins. All right, now it. Sean sets the trick. So, yeah, so, so, so Vanover, Vanover gets a letter. But because Sean built four quads, there's actually a two times multiplier in the event of a 1v1. So Vanover gets two letters. <laughs> no. So it's no. KW. That was in the fine print. Sean? Yeah, it was All right, there. I'm going to power loop. I'm going to do what uh, Conrad said he was going to do. Whoa! Oh, no! I win! I win! He crashed. I oh no! I, I'm not even making this no, one up. He landed. I'm not. I'm not making this one up. You actually do get two tries on your last trick. This is true. We've played you this actually before. Do. I'm not so it, wait, but it, only if his quad is still flying. Please be good. Yeah, it's, good. it's good. It's good. It's good. The moment I break a zip tie, it's gonna be nope. You're done. Drew never said he was an unbiased judge. Yeah, I said I'm an effective judge. <laughs> one more try. He called a power loop with a roll and then into the dive gate. So he's gonna do a roll. And he's gonna go through the dive. Oh, almost. He did, was not he did through go the through the dive, he was, sort of. One more. He went through one the more, legs. One more, one oh more. my gosh! One more. All right. He kind of went through the legs. There you go. Oh, yeah, go up. No, no, no. Attack! Yeah! Yeah! Hey! Hey! That's called the Vanover over Handicap. All right, I'm still, I'm still gonna be, I got this. I mean, if that's the level of the trick we're doing where there's actually- like, <laughs> Actually a challenge, actually being a sportsman, actually uh, <laughs> pushing the limits right. of flight. Are we good, Drew? Can you get out of my way, please? Vanover <laughs> is so salty right now. This <laughs> is him off. Oh boy, here he is. He's gonna, he's gonna nail it. I can feel it. He's yeah. gonna nail it. 
Yeah, I just gotta no. get back through the dive. Oh, that was your one try. No, that was one try. One try. <laughs> one try. Got you gotta hit the dive. Sean got a lot. Right. That was it. it. That was the trick. I was the trick. No, you didn't even dive. I dove. You did at least as good I as Sean did it. As good as Sean not did it. Anywhere it's near as done. good as Sean. It's oh done. God, that was not even close. Do it again. Do it again. Come do it right. on. That's the dive. What do you want me to do differently? I'm go up, I'm, roll, and dive. That's what I did, All and together. he did the same Sean thing. Sean was like literally below the level <laughs> of the gate when he flew back up and went through it. Bar roll, you're still diving, still diving, still diving, still diving, still diving, and I win. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right. You're right. And I win. Fine. Second place to the best pilot in the world isn't bad. Oh. Listen, I'm sorry that I kept stacking the deck against you so much. We just wanted someone to have a fair shot. You're clearly the superior pilot. He did, he, no, he was great. You're clearly, you won. Fair and square. Uh, not even fair and square, beyond fair and square. <laughs> Let's see just how far you can push this thing. We'll be recording. A lot of fun flying. How about you guys? My quad flew like crap and now it's broken. Yeah, you guys broke all the quads. Sorry, Sean. I'm sorry, yeah. Sean. Hey, it was cool because we got to fly with friends, right? And, and yeah, and I really don't think that like when this was what people were flying, you got to do this as much and fly together like this. And we definitely didn't ever see these quads do some of the tricks that we saw today. Pilot skill and everything has progressed so much over the past few years, and while you still can have you know, some fun with something like this. I think the modern mini quad is just more durable, can take a better impact and just flies better. The reason pilot, one reason why pilot skill has improved so much is the ability to go hard, crash and keep trying as opposed to having to spend a bunch of time yep. fixing it afterwards. So if you want to get good, you either need to fly modern durable quads or just have a, have a Sean. Have a Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Road Ride. If you really like this episode, you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below and check out our store because that's how we're able to do what we do here and make awesome videos for you guys. If you fly, leave a comment. What was your first flight controller? When you got into the hobby, what was the, the latest hotness? Did you come in on an F4 beta flight? shot awesomeness or maybe open pilot like I did or did you come in all the way back when we had header pins and screens and the KK2 goodness let us know thanks to Conrad Ferrati for coming out and joining us today and thank you Sean for building thank these you. and letting us wreck them dude it was a lot of fun links to both their channels in the description where you can check out some of Ferrati's racing and Sean's adventures here in Florida all right guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one Woo! You know, like in Fortnite, when you get killed and then you have to just watch the rest of the game? This is kind of like that. I'm Alex, spe when spectator you, when mode you kill activated. In Fortnite, is there like a dance you do? I've never played Fortnite. <laughs> Thanks for just automatically assuming, Drew. You floss, you dab, you do the Fortnite things. No, I, I've never done the Fortnite dance in my life. Do you not know that the floss is a Fortnite? Wait, is floss I'm sure, a Fortnite dance?